Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in CEO. We are off to a rocky, rocky start. But I see a black line here on our profit chart. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. I've got us on single speed or level one speed. So did we turn a profit? We did. Last month we turned in $20,000 in profit. Not bad. But look at this month. We are starting to rebound. So we are, yeah, we're doing really good. It's early in the month. So we're, we're doing well. We're getting another corn harvest here too, since it's October. Let's take a look at our buildings, see what's going on. The store is kind of important. Let's check our sales offices and see how things are doing. This looks fine. We're selling mutton. We can check and see if there's any competitors. There are none. That's probably as good as we can do. We're basically just selling off surplus, um, meat that we've got same thing here for the chicken chicken is selling better for some reason maybe we underpriced the market we're selling for 25 cents we are being underpriced 23 cents by this murdoch enterprises oh man but look at our revenue is higher and then we've actually got another company here balmer corporation which is buying some of our chicken and selling it for a higher price so we're making, we're making a little bit of money off of that transaction. They're reselling our chicken. That all looks okay to me. Maybe invest a little bit more in training since the utilization here is high. And then canned goods. Looks like this is starting to rebound. We're getting some good demand off of this. What about, let's look at the competitors. No competitors. Let's, let's inch up the price this time. A couple clicks and see what that does. That might bring the demand down a little bit and that might um, bring our utilization down too. Yeah, there goes the demand just ticked down a tiny bit. But hopefully that will uh, perk up our profits. Furniture, let's see how we're doing, how we're competing on this front. We have a rating of 50. We're the highest, but look, we're really undercutting the other people here. Balmer and Dalio are selling for less than us, and we're selling for less than Soros and Murdoch. But we've got the highest revenue at least, so we'll maybe leave things the way they are on this front. <clears throat> Since, oh, look at our balance sheet. So we're doing good now. Last month, 1.6 million. Okay, we are back in the black here. Let's check out our warehouse just out of curiosity. Oh boy. We're loaded, loaded with corn here. And let's check our factory and vegetables. Okay, demand is still kind of low. Let's get another store and see what that does. Buy another store. This time, let's do large since we're making money. And we need to put this inside town. Uh, we have one up there. This is a huge store. Looks like our competitors have one right there. We could park right next to them if we want. Um, this right here looks like a good spot. <clears throat> we won't have to tear up too many houses. The more, the closer you are into town, the more people you're going to get. I don't think they'll let me build there, will they? No. How about, how about in the middle here? Can't build there. Look at the cost. Oh uh, boy, yeah, we're hurting for cash. In fact, we're just things have just started to turn negative. But I do want to sell more canned goods. Utilization 92%. Kick this off a bit more. We're the only game in town. I'm going to tweak the price a little bit more. Just a little. I really want to get another store put down. We just need more cash. We took a hit on loan interest. Look at that. So we need to pay off these loans too. Yeah, we've got tons of corn. We need to sell more vegetables. Let's see what else we can do with corn. Uh, we can make cereal or corn syrup. 
Hmm. That sounds kind of easy, right? Just takes corn. Let's go to our factory. And set up a production line for corn syrup. We'll do, how about we do small. Select supplier. We're going to get corn from our warehouse. And we're going to do a small manufacturing. Corn syrup. And then we're going to sell it. And let's see where that's used. Okay, corn syrup. Corn syrup is used in hard candy and soda. Hard candy requires sugar. Hmm, should we manufacture hard candy? We've got a bunch of corn. Um, tell you what. Uh, there's a silicon mine. I'm going to skip the auctions for a while till we have some cash, basically. Let's go into our warehouse. And let's store the corn syrup in here as well. We'll do small purchasing and a medium inventory. We're going to grab corn syrup. Send it to storage. And I want a cash. So let's uh, borrow some more. We'll take another loan for five million if we can. We're running our credit down. We don't have much left. All right. Hopefully we can make some money off of this corn syrup. It's a way to make use or try to generate some profit. Let's see if the store will sell this. I don't know if it will. It won't. It's considered a commodity, so it's not going to sell it. We have to turn it into something. Um, let's go to the factory. Can I turn this into manufacturing? I would need to, let's see, maybe let's see. Sales. Hmm. Trying to see how I can do this. I want to take the corn syrup and combine it with the, what was it? The sugar to make candy. Here's our recipe. Eight sugar and 12 corn syrup. I'm just wondering if I can go straight from manufacturing into manufacturing. Let's put a manufacturing here. We'll do candy. Is it hard candy maybe? And then let's see, will it allow me to send it down there? And let's bring in sugar. From Soros Enterprises, we're gonna buy it from one of our competitors, at least initially. Send that in. Okay, it's getting corn syrup. It should be getting sugar soon. Okay, and then let's, I wish I could send that up to sell. That's all right. We'll do another sales office, small. We've got room. We're going to sell the candy. I don't know if we can have one sales office sell two things. Doesn't look like it. Normally there would be an arrow here going diagonally down. Okay, so now we're selling candy. Let's put it in the store. Um, didn't we, I thought we, yeah, there's purchasing. 
Let's buy the candy. And then I think I can sell it here. Boom. And let's just do that. And this is a way of using up more of the corn that we're producing. And maybe we can make some profit off of this. Let's see what the market looks like. We've got a competitor selling it for a lot less than us. Quality is the same. So we're probably going to need to come under $2 and 10 cents. Let's go to candy and lower their price to 208 and see if that doesn't help us with our market. What are we doing on cash? Man, it's really sketchy, huh? Uh, we made half a million the last couple, the last month even. It looks like we're climbing back up out of the pit. We're going to have to pay off that debt. So we're not paying interest and that's going to hold us back. Corn syrup demand is pretty high. Can we see who we're selling it to? Let's see. Is there... I'm not sure. There is a way to see who we're selling it to. So that demand is pretty high. Um, but our utilization's okay. It says right here, if this bar is higher than the supply bar, there's not enough supply to meet the demand. Hmm. Corn syrup sales. Look at our manufacturing. We're at 100% utilization already. What we might do on this one is um, we can either upgrade this building or increase our training level. Let's increase the training level up to 50%. That should bring our utilization down and our production up. So we've got 19,800 units per cycle. I guess that's maybe month. Let's see if that goes up as this uh, training kicks in. It's going to take a minute. I'll speed up the clock just so we can see it. I'm guessing that's going to go up our production. Hmm. Doesn't look like it, does it? Is it our supplies? No, I don't think so. Efficiency's at 33%. We are investing in training. There it goes. It just ticked up. Let's slow things down. Look at our balance sheet. We are slowly making money. Let's look at our loans. We've got three loans to pay off. Let's knock one of these out of here. Boom. That'll save us a little bit of interest. We could probably stay on this double speed. Take a look at the warehouse. Still have a ton of corn. Tons of corn syrup here. We need to sell the corn syrup on the market. Let's do that. Sales, small, boom. Maybe we can get some money for this as well. No demand. No demand. All right, let's go to the factory. There's our corn syrup. We're selling here and we're sending it down. Hmm. Sales, just trying to sell it. We're also storing it. This stuff in the warehouse, though, is just not going anywhere. No one's buying it. We could make more candy. Let's see what else we can make out of this corn syrup. I think it's soda, right? 
We would need aluminum. And then we could make soda cans. Uh, let's see about aluminum. So do we have room in our factory to build this? We don't really, I don't think. Let's see, we could buy... Yeah, we need two ingredients going into the factory. That's the problem. Got these extra tiles. I've got extra units. But I need two inputs going into something. And then, yeah, the way we've got this laid out, it's not going to work. Hmm, what can I do? What can I do? Purchase corn syrup. Purchase. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with this. I could, in this factory, produce the aluminum cans. Uh, in fact, we could. Let's. Oh, wait, we're losing money too. Uh, no, we're doing okay in cash. Let's build. Let's purchase some aluminum if we can. Anybody selling it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, do we have to make that? Let's look at corn syrup again. Recipes. Aluminum. Where do we get that? From bauxite with the turn bauxite into aluminum. No one's making aluminum. Silica auction. Yeah, I don't see a way to even... No one's selling aluminum, so we would have to buy a mine and everything for that. Bummer. Could be profitable. Let me get rid of this building and get rid of this one until we're ready. Take a look at our store. Furniture sales are looking good. Look at our brand is going up in value. Let's see what our rating is compared to our competitors on this now. We are, we're at 59 and our competitors are all below us in the ratings and we have the highest revenue from furniture. So we're doing good there. We could even kick up our price a tad. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Just a hair. One click. Canned goods are doing better. Utilization's at 100%. We... May want to up the, let's increase the office here. Boom. We can sell more of this and then we'll check our rating on this too. We're investing a little bit in the brand. Our rating is where? I don't even see it on here. Take a look. We're the only one selling, so we're doing pretty good. I wonder if we could kick up the price. Now demand just went down, so... We'll, I guess, leave things where they are at on that one. Utilization, now we can, we don't have to invest in so much training since we doubled the size of our sales office. Chicken, demand is high. Check our competitiveness on that. This is us, we're at 37, we're at the highest. So we're doing okay. Our price is the lowest. Um, we're not making much. Wonder if we should go up a tick on the price. Yeah, our rating is the highest. Let's kick the price up a couple pennies on that one. And then down here, mutton. We've got surplus supply. Oh, check out our bank balance. We're doing good now. Let's uh, pay off those loans. 
that one repay and this one repay. Boom. No more debt, no more interest. That's going to save us some cash. Look at the loan interest we've been paying already. We paid over a million, 1.1 million in interest since the game started and roughly 35,000 a month. So now we're down to zero. That's going to help. Corn syrup, no demand. We still need to get rid of that corn syrup. So we said aluminum cans, right? Let's see about getting a mine going for the bauxite, I believe it was. Is that even on here? There it is, bauxite. Um, is that the only one? There's two. This one has higher quality. 16 million. We can't buy it yet without taking a loan. I think I'm going to wait. The other one is 9 million. It doesn't have as much resource, but we could do this one. Try and build on the resource. We got to wait till our cash goes up. It's uh, we're at double speed. Almost there. All right, let's buy this and see what happens here. Boom. Move these windows out of the way. So there's our bauxite mine. And we need to start an auction actually to, oh man, look at this. 15 million they want for that. I'm gonna um, speed up the clock, see if we can't get up to Maybe 17 million. Oh, now we're going down in price. Look at our balance up here is declining. Let's slow down the clock and see if we can figure out what's going on. We have to hold off on the box site. Yeah, this is much more challenging on medium difficulty than uh, my first little playthrough on easy difficulty, naturally. Okay, demand is dipped down on our canned goods. Are we less competitive? No, we're all, everybody's selling for the same price. We could squeeze out our competitors by just not selling to them. I'll show you how that works. I haven't done this yet. Let's try it. So if we go into our factory, our sales office for canned goods, and I think there's a way. I thought there was a way to only sell internally. Maybe you can't once you're, let's see. Once you're up and running, maybe you can't do that. But I thought there was a setting here to say, hey, only sell to companies within, you know, within the Glider Cat empire here. I think I would think it'd be in this, in this one. Manager. Okay, offer the building for sale. Okay, we can rename this building too, so it doesn't just say large factory. Let's call this factory one. I know that's not much better, but we have multiple products in here. That might be a little easier to remember. Yeah, I thought there was a way not to let other companies sell our product. Okay, here's canned goods, customers. Here's the money we're making from the other firms. But if I said internal sales only, that's going to cut off their profits and potentially drive up our demand. So let's just try it. So now we're the only ones selling. Let's look at our sales office and see if demand starts climbing. Because now no one else should be able to sell it. Like they're all buying it from me. That should change. Once they, once they go through their inventories, I imagine. Let's just see if demand and utilization go up.
86, yeah, it's slowly climbing. So we basically just cut out our competitors a bit. Okay, let's, we'll let that run and we'll take a look at that later. Let's build our, let's see if we can get our bauxite mine going and see if we can produce soda. That was the cheaper one. Let's, I guess we can start with this one. Boom. We're going to start an auction on it. Look at that total cost. All right. Hopefully we can do this. Okay. That's our bid. Once that timer runs out, it will be ours as long as no one else bids on it. Boom. We have a bauxite mine. Okay. Let's do some mining. Uh, let's do, <clears throat> let's go small scale. We can upgrade these later. We're going to mine. We're going to have a little bit of inventory space. And then we're going to sell. And now we need fac a factory or some factory space to build these cans. Uh, let's go to our factory. There's, I think there's still room and some slots. We could pull this off. Let's do a small scale operation. We're going to purchase. Um, then we're going to purchase. Let me get it. Bauxite. Boom. Select. And then we want to process that, I believe, into aluminum. Right? Bauxite into aluminum. And then we want to send that down into more processing. Let's see if this will work. We want, uh, it's not beer soda. Oh, okay. Now we're at the spot where we need to, um, we need to put two ingredients in. So we're going to need to do this in another factory, unfortunately. So this one's got to go. Remove. We need to take two ingredients. We need to take the, this and this. Oh, can we, I can't, can't get this corn syrup into this cell. I don't think there's any way for me to do that. And I don't, yeah, I don't have a way of doing all of this. Um, what we can do. Just looking at the arrows, they're hard to see. I think I've got an idea. Let's not sell corn syrup there. Let's instead manufacture soda. Boom. And now I can get rid of this sales office and put in a purchasing office actually to get <laughs> to bring in Corn syrup, even though we're making it right here, get rid of the sales office. And we'll do purchasing office small. It's going to be corn syrup. Boom. And we're going to send that to manufacturing along with the aluminum that gets a soda. And then we're going to try and sell the soda right here. We'll just keep everything kind of small operation. Okay, so now we're making soda. Uh, our profit, we're starting to go down in profit. Let's open up our store. Do I have room to sell soda? I do. Um, I don't. I don't have any more units in this store. We need another store. Did I buy another one? I did not. Okay, let's build another store if we've got the cash. We might have to go, whoops, we might have to go medium. Don't know that I can afford a big one. I'd love to have a big one, but I don't think I can afford it. It occurs to me we have two maps too. I haven't even been looking at the other map. Uh, a medium store. We could try and bid on this. Let's try it. Bid. Make a bid. Trying to buy a store that's already got some sales stuff set up in it. So let's, we'll see what happens here. One more second. 
And we'll win the auction. We did. Let's take a look at the store. We should have a new store, I think. Medium store. Let's close that and bring it up again. See if we got that. Where is it? Didn't we get another store? That's the one we had. Um, all regions. And we want Glider Cat Corporation, all regions. So we may have gotten a store somewhere else. We did in the south. This is a new store for us. Um, we're going to have to go through this and make, <laughs> and make sure everything that's set up here is generating a profit for us. Right now it's at a loss. Let's, uh, let's look at this for a bit. Let's look at this for a bit. Okay, we're purchasing, purchasing meat. Okay, we're not, that's a store in the south. Let's bid on this one too. Medium store in the south, another one in the same area. All right, we got another store. I'm going to pause it. And we're going to look at the financials here of our little operation. So we're buying beef from Balmer Corporation. And we're selling it. Small markup. Let's see if we're competitive on the beef. Um, it's not showing me. Let's go to the south. This is us. Ladder cat. We're at 29. So we are the least... Effective sellers. The brand is low. So maybe we just ditch this operation because we're probably losing money on beef sales. Let's do that. Let's ditch it. We're going to remove this and remove this. Probably not worth it. Okay. We've got lap tablets we're purchasing. And selling. Demand's not great. The markup is not great. Let's look at our competitiveness. Uh, we want the south. We're 25. We're the lowest. I think this is another one I'm just going to bail on. Let's uh, get rid of that and get rid of this. Next, we've got cameras, SLR cameras. I'm guessing this is probably pretty bad too. Demand's low, brand is being invested in. Markup's not bad. Our rating is not bad actually. We're, this one is kind of worth saving. I think we can up our brand a little bit here. Let's invest. Well, there's already some decent investment going on in the branding here. Let's keep that business in place. That may be profitable for us. What else they sell in here? Socks. Demand's pretty good. Utilization is over 100%. Let's look at our competitiveness. Go to the south. Ladder cat selling 32. We're okay. What's our price? 1119. We're pretty low price. Our brand needs some help, but our price is kind of saving our rating. So let's leave that one the way it is. And we are investing in the brand. So we'll keep the socks as well. Next up is light bulbs. Socks. We have hundred percent utilization though. We need to, we're missing out on sales. Let's, uh, how are we doing in cash? We're doing okay. I wonder if we should just upgrade this. Let's do it. Make that a medium sales office. Now our utilization comes down and we should be able to sell more product. The markup's not great, but it's not bad either. Okay. Light bulbs. Did we do these? Let's see where we're at here against our competitors in the South. Our rating is 26. Everybody's 26. Everybody's selling for $1.63. Let's sell for a little cheaper. Maybe see if we can't steal 
Oh, we have a minimum price agreement. We can't sell lower than this based on who we're buying it from. I believe there's some kind of agreement that we can't sell it lower. So we're kind of stuck with what, where we're at on that. Um, is it profitable? We're not investing in the brand, so we could do that. That might kick up demand a little. And we don't need to worry about utilization. Let's look at the last product here, toothpaste. We're at 100% utilization. We're, we're at the bottom of the scores. We're at the same brand as everybody, but what's the problem here? Why? We're selling for less. So why is our rating lower? We have the same brand. Lower, oh, our quality is low. So we, let's see who we're buying this from. So we're buying from Soros. Let's see if we change suppliers. Uh, whoops, this one. Quality's 33. Okay. Oops, I got mixed up here. Let's look at this one more time. Body is 33. We're looking at the toothpaste in the south. We saw that our quality is 33 when our competitors have quality of 51. So we want to see if we can get toothpaste from a better supplier. Let's select suppliers. There's the 51. Now they're going to charge more. A lot more. But let's see if we buy it from here, if it's not more profitable for us. Utilization's high. Uh, that should increase our competitiveness. Um, the quality is going to go up once I hit play. And do we want to double the size of the sales office? I think I do. I'm going to come in here and make this a medium. And now I'm going to hit play and let's see. I think we may have increased the profitability of this entire outfit. I hope we'll find out. We cut some products that didn't seem like they were that great. And then we've kind of upgraded some products. We're investing in the brand on the toothpaste. We increased the quality quite a bit. Hey, there's bauxite on auction. I'm going to skip that one. So we'll see if we can get a profit. Let's look at our competitiveness one more time on this in the South. Now, better cat brand is 21. Our quality went up to 51. Our price is the highest. So maybe we can bring that price down on the toothpaste. Let's do it. If we can, if they'll let us bring it down to 233 and see how we're doing now. 33, our ratings at 45. That's the highest. And we've got the capacity to sell a lot. 46. Yeah, our ratings getting better. This should turn around. We should start bringing in some cash. 67, 69% utilization. 72% utilization. So we're getting more and more sales now. Seventy five, seventy seven, seventy eight. We're investing in the brand, so we should be pretty competitive in this market. We're at forty six. The next nearest competitor is forty three, and our revenue is just climbing. But yeah, I think we're turning this place around. In fact, yeah, look at the losses. And now we're slowly getting into a profit. It's early in the month and we've already got a profit. So I think this store is in good shape. We bought another one in the South, right? Let's take a look at that one. That's this guy. I'm going to pause. Go through these products. We've got eggs. Buying them from Murdoch. We could produce eggs in our factory. Um, and 
I don't know if we can bring them from the north to the south. Let's let's take a look at our factory in the north. Our farm, I'm sorry, our large farm. We've got chickens here. And we could be processing eggs out of here. We have to move our corn stuff. Maybe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I've got room. Ooh, that's a big, that's a four. Four corn. Do I, I don't know that I've got the, the units available in this factory to do what I want to do. I want to get eggs out of here. But I'd have to cut back on our corn. Let's look at the warehouse. Corn inventory is not full. Let's switch to, yeah, we're selling corn. Hmm. Corn syrup. Yeah, we're also selling corn syrup to other companies. What I'm thinking of doing right now, what I'm trying to do is see if we can get eggs produced. And I'm trying to see if there's a way I could tap into this livestock raising that we've already got going on. Should be able to process eggs off of this too, but I got to move something. I can move corn, but then I've only got, we might be able to do it. Let's, uh, let's move corn, do a corn crop, uh, large corn. We'll get rid of this one. I think we lose money doing this, but and I'll get rid of this corn sales. Uh, no, I'll leave this. Um, I'll leave that there. Hold on. This we want livestock processing medium. I want to send product up here and I want it to be eggs this time. And then I want to sell not corn. I want to sell, can I change the product? Okay. Clear stock. Hmm. It's not letting me change. Basically I want to sell a different product here. Oh, I just got to put the arrow on. Now it might let me, uh, let's hit play. There it goes. Now it's going to sell eggs. Okay. Selling eggs. There is demand. We've got supply. We've got utilization. So now we're producing eggs off of the same eggs and chicken off of the same livestock raising. That's what I wanted to do. Um, we need to sell this corn. Whoops, I hit the wrong thing. We want sales office, medium. We'll push the corn in. So now this farm is kind of fully, fully done. And the reason I wanted to do eggs was to see if in, let's uh, pause it. I want to see if in the south, our new store, if instead of purchasing eggs from Murdoch Enterprises, we can purchase eggs from ourselves. Let's do it. Select supplier. Can I select, can I get them from the north? There's us. Looks like that's going to work. So I'm bringing in eggs and then we're going to sell them. Our quality is probably not great. Advertising is kind of a big deal for this product. 34% concern. We're investing in advertising. Demand's good. Let's look at our competitiveness. In the South, that's where we're selling. We're at 31 rating overall. 
and the best one is 35. And what do they have on us? They got the price on us. So let's lower our price to somewhere around 55 cents for our eggs. And we got to do that up top here. Oh man, not much of a markup on these. I can't sell price agreement. Now, why would there be a price agreement if I'm buying from myself? Let's hit play. I'm wondering if that is not a thing or not supposed to be a thing since we changed who we're buying it from. Okay, eggs. Yeah, now I can lower the price. Be more competitive. Let me slow the clock down and let's see how we're doing now. In the south. Whoops. Ladder can't. We're, our rating is what? Eggs. Ladder cat in the south. Our rating is 22. Our price is higher than Balmer and our, our brand is zero. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to have to live with that and increase our advertising. It's we're starting from scratch because we only just started selling eggs. So it's just going to take time for us to catch up on that one. We're making money. I'm going to hit pause anyway. Let's go through the rest of these products. Tell you what, let's end this episode here. We'll go through the rest of the products here. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. This is a new store that we purchased in the South. We got it on auction. Let's check our balance sheet, see how we're doing. Uh, let's see income. Last month we were at 18 million. This month we're halfway through and we're at eight and a half million. So it looks like it's maybe a little bit of a dip, but operating profit is actually higher already this month than our entire month last month due to probably we purchased some stuff last month or something. Anyway, we will leave it here and we'll pick it up in the next episode for now. This is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hoping you're enjoying this short let's play. We'll see how short it is. I'm not sure. I'm kind of like, kind of like this game, <clears throat> but this let's play series featuring a game called CEO. It's in early access. Uh, as I record this, Pretty cool. I mean, it's a lot of looking at kind of spreadsheet kind of stuff, but it's, uh, it's fairly intuitive once you start playing, but we'll get back to it next episode. I'll see you then.